Welcome and thank you for taking the time to watch this training video of the medication and plan of care note section of the MTBC EHR. Let's take a look at how we can prescribe new medications directly from this window. To send a medication for a patient, simply find the row that has the asterisk, which is the new medication row, and click into the medicine section. This will open up the add modify medicine window. From here, by default, the selection is My List. The My List selection is a list of all of the medications that you have prescribed in the past. Begin by typing out the medication that you want to prescribe. Here, I want to prescribe Lipitor 10. Lipitor 10 in the past has been prescribed in these variables. Lipitor 20 in these variables. Sometimes we prescribed it with 30 dispense and 30 quantity with one refill. If we want to prescribe Lipitor 20 again in the same method, we can simply click on that item and select that medication. Now we can choose a pharmacy from the pharmacy list. If you've ever prescribed a medication for this patient in the past, that pharmacy would automatically appear in this pharmacy selector. If not, you can just click the plus sign to select a new pharmacy. This medication looks like it's ready for submission to the pharmacy. Click OK in the bottom right hand corner and you'll have the summary window for that medication. If you're ready to submit it again, click OK one more time to send this prescription electronically. Once you've prescribed the medication, it'll appear on this medication list. To refill a medication that's already on the patient list, simply right click on that medication and choose the option for renew. This will automatically enter all of the exact criteria into the medication window for easy and one click prescribing. To send a new medication, simply go to the new row and click into the medication section. Now you can select the medication. Select the quantity and day supply of your choice with refills and click OK to send this prescription. If you attempt to prescribe medications that contraindicate with other medications or have a negative impact on assessments or diagnosis codes that are currently on the patient's chart or allergies, you'd receive all of those warnings in this section on the right hand side. Here, if we want to prescribe some Vistatin, and we select the criteria, you'll see that this medication provides a warning against the warfarin which is already on the patient's record. If you want to continue with this medication, you'll need to override the warning. You should also provide an override reason. For example, that this has been well tolerated in the past. If you want to continue with this prescription, click OK to go to your summary window and submit this prescription. From this window, you can also access external drug history for patients, lab orders and results, as well as lab instructions. You can forward the medication list onto other providers in your practice, or you can print the medication list for this patient. You can fax the medication list directly from here as well. And you can also see a history of the faxing that's happened. If a patient is no longer taking a certain medication on the list, simply deactivate that medication by unchecking the active medication box. That medication will now go into the past medication section for that patient. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.